Joining us today in the Harvey Norman Lounge to talk about diet and fitness is a woman who is fast becoming one of the biggest names in the New Zealand yoga world. Welcome to the cafe, Erin O'Hara. Hi. Now tell me first a little bit about your background. How did you get into yoga? I got into yoga in my late teens. I was really sick at the time and was, I couldn't run anymore so I was looking for something else that I could do to help me. Yeah. And um, stumbled across Bikram yoga and went and did some hot yoga sessions which were really really intense at the time but um, just did a few of those and then got more and more into it as I went over the years. And found something that you really love. Yeah and then got into other styles of yoga, Ashtanga yoga as I was um, racing. I used to be a professional triathlete um, oh my so goodness. it was all about stretching and realigning the body, preventing injuries and preparing mentally as well. Now you're one of the just a few kundalini teachers in New Zealand, aren't you? Um, what the Hollywood A-listers love this, I've read about that. What exactly is kundalini? Yeah, so kundalini, I came across it when I lived in LA and I was looking for other styles of yoga to do that would help me. And the kundalini was just fascinated me with um, all the meditation that they do in the classes. And it's a hugely popular style of yoga, especially in LA. So what do you do? Um, so you... So you... So there's a lot of chanting. It's quite... It's known as the more spiritual style of yoga. A lot of chanting, breath work, lots of power breathing. So great for really big lung expansion okay. and connection in the body. And then also um, we use a lot of sound therapy. So we use the gong for relaxation as well. That sounds intriguing. Um, so it's really healing and you feel just amazing, so energised at the end. Now I want to talk about how you can get yoga into your daily life because I just said before off, uh, off camera that I get up at 4.30 so I can't do yoga before I get up because it's too, it's too early. And you, <laughs> what time do you get up to practice your yoga in the morning? I usually get up around 3.30 and practice at 4 o'clock. <laughs> I know, how incredible is that? That's just re remarkable. Absolutely rem remarkable. Um, so I should be doing it. So what can we do? What are some easy things that we can do to sort of incorporate yoga? Yeah, so if you can't get to classes, like if you're new to yoga, it's good to get to a class first, yeah. just so you prevent any injuries and you know you're doing it properly and you're guided through the whole process. But if you can't get to classes, then starting something at home is a really great place to start. And it can be as little as like 10 minutes every day. And it's, it's part of it is just making that commitment. Like you say, I don't have time, but I'm that's, far too that's, busy. that's everyone's no. excuse. Everyone tells me that. Like, and the same with why people can't do meditation. It's because their, their mind too busy and mm -hmm. it's actually the reasons why we should be doing these things. You're absolutely right. Um, so it's about finding something that you can do, keeping it super simple and I can show you some things that you can do. Oh. I would love that. Can you show me? Yeah. I was going to, I won't do it with you because I'm wearing inappropriate clothing. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think television is ready. You're not ready for this at this time of the morning. Trust me. What I get. So can you show us some things? Yeah. I'll show you a little um, sequence I like to do in the morning. It's really easy. Um, you should be able to do these things at home. I've put together a little six different kundalini postures at actually. Um, so they always work with breath and movement and you can just guide yourself through this little sequence. Okay. Yeah, so we Go usually start, um, I'm going to show you all seated postures. Um, so they'll all be down on the ground. I didn't bring a yoga mat today, so you can, just like at home, you don't need a yoga mat, you can do it <laughs> wherever you are. Um, just sitting on the ground, make sure you clear away all the toys if you've got kids oh, that's creating some bit. space. <laughs> um, and it doesn't need to be a big space, it can be just a little small space around you. Um, the first one we'll start with, in the, in the morning, I always love to just wake up the body, especially through the spine. Um, overnight, we always get really stiff. You wake up in the morning, you feel a little bit like a robot. So this is just going to be a really great way to wake up the energy along the spine and create some opening through the body. So the first one is known as a spinal flex. You'll place your hands to the front of your shins. You're just sitting easy cross legs. And if you you find this position hard, you could even bring your soles or your feet together, create a bit more space. And as you come forward, you're rock forward on your pelvis lifting your heart and then as you exhale you'll tuck your tailbone under and round the back of the body inhaling forward and exhaling back and you'll just keep going with this little movement back and forward and the breath is really important in your yoga if you're just doing the movement without the breath it's not really yoga at all so whenever we come forward you'll take a big breath and then a big breath back inhaling forward 
Exhaling back. Because it's actually quite easy to forget to breathe sometimes, isn't it? It sounds it so is. ridiculous, but it is easy. And that's actually what makes the mind really focus in this practice, is generally with the Kundalini in particular, yeah. we work with eyes closed. You close your eyes as you do this, inhale forward and exhale back. So I think we've got time for one more posture. Can you show us something else we could be doing? Sure. Um, so another one would be a little spinal twist. So low, lower back pain is quite common, placing the fingers on the front, thumb at the back, inhaling one side and exhaling the other side. Inhaling Inhale left and exhale right. Yeah. And how long should we be doing these for? You can just do for like one or three minutes. I usually set a timer. I like to do everything really accurately. But you can, don't have to do that. You can just sort of get into doing some yoga right. with just doing as long as you have. Well, that was absolutely yeah. fantastic. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciated that. And I'm going to try that. And I am going to get up a little bit earlier and do that because if you get up at 3.30, then I can definitely get up at 4.20 and start doing <laughs> some stuff. I feel very energised and ready to take on the rest of the day. Thank you so much for chatting today, Erin. I'll definitely be trying those tips out. And another way to stay fit is to check out the health station, V-Fit special that the cafe offer. Call the number on screen.